Hey, I'm Christian Kane, and you're watching the Social Point Network. Partisan, they're almost there. Come on, baby. Come on, just come on, man. Forget it. Hold it right there. Christian Kane, I gotta say, my son's name is Christian. So, nice, man. You know, I, I love the name in that. Seems like you'll be able to span two sides of the uh, of, of the uh, acting equation. With Christian, you, you get that uh, wholesome feel. That's right. Kane is kind of a more yeah you know, badass. Well, my, it's kind of an oxymoron because Kane. <laughs> I think Kane was a Christian, but it wasn't not for a while. Or that's just, so it is. It's kind of it's kind of a funny a funny name. I've gotten that my whole life. Well, you know, we're on the Social Point Network, which is on Time Warner Cable. Uh -huh. Uh, 325,000 households and I sent in a message saying I'm gonna visit with Christian Kane want to see what they had questions for you about and they said uh, did you get some I did awesome and uh, you have a lot of fans out there Twice. I mean you're, you're from Dallas so that makes sense right but uh, number one they want to know what is it like being the eye candy for the show <laughs> and is that, I mean, do you agree with that is that what uh, I agree with that 100% <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, listen, man. There's a lot of good-looking people on this thing. I can't believe that was said. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> like the hair and the yeah. I guess color. so. I guess so. I um, you know, I'm very fortunate. You know, I just uh, I don't know. I'm kind of embarrassed now. <laughs> I didn't know that was going on out there. That's awesome. I, I tell you, it's great. If that's what they think, then uh, then it's then now. it's awesome. That's right. I gotta you know clean it up a little bit. Yeah. So uh, now, what is it like? I, I understand that it's, if you like um, Ocean's Eleven, yeah. you're going to kind of have that feel in the show where there's uh, it's very heavy on, on smart dialogue. And, yeah. I mean, what what does it feel like for the audience? Is it like cinematic and you're watching a movie? Well, it is. Ocean it is. Every, every it is, in the, in, the, in the sense that it's very, you're, you're correct in saying that. Thank you for saying that. It's very, very smartly written. Um, John Rogers created the show, he's, uh, and he oversees all the writing on it. And he, uh, he's not only a stand-up comedian, but he's like a physicist. You know what I mean? So he's like, he's like, he's, it's the weirdest thing in the world. So all his stuff is, even the comedy is, you know, really, really smart. Uh, it's, it's a thrill ride, you know? It's, it's, it goes, it's, you don't have to think too hard on it. It's a fun show to watch. But at the same time, you got to pay attention because it moves so fast. Um, the Ocean's Eleven thing, it's a, a good, it's a great compliment to, to get. Um, I like to... It's a little bit of the A team, yeah, and I get to play B A Baracus, so it's like it's it's really cool. But it's like, but it is fast and it's smart and it's um, it's a different movie every episode. You know, like a lot of times you'll get who killed who, they did put them on trial, we win. Next week, same thing, who killed who, they did put them on trial, we win. It's not like that with this. You know, that's the great thing about being a con artist is that you erase yourself from wherever you were, so you can't pick up where you left off. You know, so every single, and, and, and Dean Devlin being a producer, you know, uh, of the show with Independence Day and Godzilla and Patriot and all that stuff, um, you do, you get a different movie every week. It's literally a little movie every week. And it's, uh, and as an actor, it's so refreshing to work on something like that, so. Do you, do you feel like you get absorbed into the role where you start in everyday life looking at ways you can scam and, and con? Oh, I you, mean, it just seems like uh, when you get in that mode, you might just kind of get stuck. It's in. funny, I've been noticing, I've noticed cameras, I've noticed like, you know, it's like, <laughs> and you, you kind of walk around with your head and it's, it's literally once you play this character and you're like, well, that can't happen, it's, you do a little bit, man. I've noticed a lot. I'm, my eyes are more open than they were before to a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and, and, you know, and I start, and, you know, yeah, it, it, you actually do. You kind of get into the character a little bit. And, cool. uh, yeah. Now, tell me about the band. Uh, we, you know, Dallas is a great music scene. Yeah, it is. And uh, you're a musician. And w what is the vibe of your music like? Well, it's country. I'm just going to say it's country. It is country music. But, um, you know, I played the Viper Room for four years in Los Angeles. We played country. We played with Shooter Jennings out there. Uh, for four years, you played the Viper Room. And you, you, you do a ballad, you lose the crowd. Um, it really is because it's a rock and roll vibe, you know. So we could never slow it down and, and you know do some of the stuff that I really wanted to do. So we kind of got our sound by being out there. We, we're we're a little bit more rock and roll. It's a little more gritty. It's a little it's a little dirty, and um, and we enjoy it, man. It's and it's uh, 
it's not cookie cutter stuff. It's not rigor mortis country. It really will keep you on your seats. It's 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 an it's an album. Uh, I've got to go back in in January and finish it up. But it's uh, it's an album you can drink to, you know. You know, a buddy of mine, um, Brian Abrams from Call Me Bad, is out in Oklahoma, and he actually has heard uh, some of your music. Are you kidding me? No, man? no. And he's those uh, are some Oklahoma boys, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 He's coming in town uh, tomorrow, but. I, Tell him I, I, I said thanks, to, man. That's unbelievable. I, I would love to. Well, did he like it? No, he did. He did. <laughs> okay, good. good, good. <laughs> Yeah. It'd be great to do a, because I'm, I'm I'm into that cross genre where you get you know country and rock and roll, maybe mm -hmm. add a little hip hop R and B. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah. I just uh, I love that. Now I see the guitar back here. Can you play a couple chords? Give a give a little a little something to the yeah. audience. <laughs> Put it on the spot, but I'll edit it out if it's if it's. Uh, <laughs> I'll do you a verse and a chorus. I don't know if we'll. Can you can you see me on this thing here? Remember, still on here. Sometimes, even now, I want to run away. But there you are, you're trying to please me. Oh, and you stand your ground. That's more than I deserve. I've taken more than I've been given. I've taken for granted this life I'm living. Because it's more than I deserve. <laughs> I haven't warmed up yet. Thank you. Sure, you know what I like? It's, uh, it's uh, soulful. It's country with some soul, you know? Yeah. As a, as a black guy, I'm not usually going to be into country, but I could listen to that. See, know? that's what I'm saying, man. That's exactly <laughs> it. Fantastic. Put me on the spot, man. I haven't even warmed my voice up yet. I need a couple more beers. <laughs> Very good. No, <laughs> Thank I, I you, appreciate man. your time. Thank you so much, man. It's so, it's so great for you to come over here and do this, man. And, and uh, man, check, check the show out, man. Tell we'll me what it. you think we'll about it. All Thank the best you. to you. Thank you.